Hey, how are you guys? What's up? It's Serena. Remember me from thrift diving. <laughs> it's been so long since I have uploaded a video. I have been busy and I wanted to share with you behind the scenes what it is that I'm working on so that you can see what's coming up. And I felt bad because I didn't actually have a project, but then I thought, you know what? You probably want to know what I'm working on and the whole thought process behind it. So let me share with you all the things that I've been working on. Number one, I'm getting a shed right over there, a she shed. <laughs> Super excited. <laughs> Second thing is I've been working on my closet. I've been cutting the wood and even though it's been a year and a half, I'm still working on this and I'm making progress. So I want to show you that. And then also I started a podcast. That's right. So even though I haven't been doing videos, I've been doing podcast episodes and I'm going to share with you what's in those seven episodes because you're missing some great stuff. So let's head over here to the other side of the yard so you can see what I'm doing with this she shed. <laughs> So this is what my backyard looks like. We have a ton of space back here. I mean, we could frolic, we could do all kinds of things, but we don't, we don't actually use this space hardly at all. And so the original idea was, why don't we get a shed and we can take the lawnmower and the bikes and all the things that have been getting in the way in my workshop and we can put them out back. Well, as I started thinking, I'm like, why don't I put myself in my workshop? <laughs> back here in the corner. So that's what I've been planning. And it'll be a completely dedicated workspace, right? Like no kids, well, no, the kids may get a, a little corner, but it's it's gonna be just for work, like, like just working, right? And kind of hanging out possibly. But the big question was, where am I gonna put it? We've got a lot of space back here, but when you do a shed, you want it to blend in and complement your house and your yard. So there, there's two locations and I wanna know what you think the best location would be. Let me show you what my yard looks like. It, it has a lot of stuff that needs to be done to it. Just a lot of random crap sitting out. So excuse me for that, but it's a very 1970s home. There's nothing modern about the home. And so one of the problems was how am I gonna tie this she shed into my current home? And so that's why back here in the corner, I thought it would be probably the best location because I could do catty corner right back here and of course get rid of this this little wire bin that's my little leaf mold that I'm doing back there for gardening um, but I thought it would look really nice kind of nestled right back here so that was one location that I was asking people what do you think now the other location would be more parallel to this fence. Let's go back there and actually see the space. So the guy that came today, he actually put these little flags in the ground. And this is pretty much just showing you where the location is gonna be. And it's huge guys, like <laughs> the size of this building is going to be freaking insane. <laughs> but I like the idea that it's nestled back here in the corner, like catty corner. The only problem is that we do have some tall trees here, some limbs that if there should be a big storm, that could fall on the shed. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of landscaping and have somebody come and trim some of these huge branches. But this is where I see it happening, guys. Now you might be wondering, Serena, why are you not building this shed yourself? And I, I actually have asked myself that question many a times. And here's the thing, for my closet, it has taken me a year, almost a year and a half to get to the closet. I only finished one side, I still have the other side to do, and it's taking forever, and that's just a closet organizer. So imagine how many years it would take me <laughs> to build a freaking 16 by 26. I feel comfortable and confident that I, that I can do it, like I really do feel that I can do it, but when I look at the amount of time that it's gonna take me, I would rather just get the thing, just prefab, just get that thing constructed and let me move on with my projects, right? <laughs> so if I've got space, I can build more things. I can build the vanities that I wanna build. I can build closet organizers. I can help my friends and family build. In terms of cost, this is not cheap, but it's the cheaper version of what I want. Cause let me tell you, I had some people come in to do a, uh, an estimate, I actually had two estimates. It's so crazy the amount of money that it's gonna cost um, to have somebody build it. But this was with everything. I was like, okay, I want you to put a patio in front of it. I want you to put like skylights and finish the inside, do the painting. I want it to be turnkey ready. Guess how much? $82,000.
Yes, you, you, you don't have to like rewind this. You heard that right, $82,000. And I thought there's no way that I'm paying $82,000 to get a building in my backyard. <laughs> So this is not gonna happen. So then I called Tough Shed, and you know, they sell them at Home Depot, and of course I love Home Depot, and I partner with them, but this is not sponsored. Uh, this video is not sponsored, but I called Tough Shed, and I said, this is what I want. I want skylights, I want, I want everything, but I will finish off the inside. I just want the building itself, and they said, okay, we can do that. For the building itself, I wanna say it's like 18,000, um, which is still a lot of money, but compared to the 82,000, 82, 18, 82, 18. Yeah, I mean, it's like, <laughs> there's, there's no comparison there. And we still have to finish the inside and you're gonna get to see that. So let me show you my closet. Uh, but first, let me tell you about my podcast. So guys, if you have not downloaded my podcast episodes, you have to listen, it's so fun. I have seven episodes right now that are published that you can listen to right now. And we talk about everything from the story of thrift diving, how thrift diving got started. And I interviewed a couple that lived in my neighborhood. They converted this really inexpensive school bus. They converted it into a tiny home for their family. So I interviewed them. I'm gonna be talking to a pest control guy. We're talking termites, bed bugs. I mean, all the things that, that you wanna know about your home, about DIY, about getting your projects done. I mean, it's all in the podcast it's a lot of fun and it's kind of been a new venture for me so i'm super excited about it and i really 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 hope that you guys subscribe to the podcast and listen every week because it's new it's just something i'm trying out you know girl got to keep things fresh <laughs> all right so let me tell you about my closet all right so right now i am finish the design like it took me a long time to figure out how to design this thing in SketchUp. Uh, SketchUp is a free program that you can use but I have the pro version but regardless you can use the free version and design like the most amazing things and because I'm kind of new to SketchUp it took me a long time to figure out how to use it but guys I have the design it is ready to build I've been cutting with my new tools and I love it <laughs> I love how accurate the tools are and I'll share the tools with you in uh, another video. I got a freaking track saw, like <laughs> it's amazing. So anyway, the closet is coming, I promise you, and it's gonna look amazing. And um, you'll see that video probably next month. Oh, there's one thing I didn't tell you. I'm actually another, well, I actually consider it to be a project. I'm working with Habitat for Humanity again, yes. There's like two projects right now that Habitat for Humanity has going on. Apparently they've been sitting on one of these homes for like at least two and a half years. And they finally gutted the home. They're like completely destroying the floor so that they can improve the plumbing. There's so many things going on in this house. And so I had started volunteering with them again and um, helping do some framing. So it's been really cool working alongside other volunteers and uh, working with the contractors, right? Because they're the ones who are leading the project. <laughs> it's been hard, but we're gonna try to move a little faster so that we can get things published to the YouTube channel. But definitely follow me on uh, Apple Podcast. You can find me on Stitcher, Pandora, all of those places. Just look for Thrift Diving Podcast and you'll find me there. All right, guys, I will see you next week next week, hopefully next week, and next podcast and next video. 